I am not proud of this. Oh my goodness. This is insane. I'm so dehydrated. Kind of a big deal. Oh my god, it looks so much better. All right, guys, it is January 3rd. 2021 and I am tackling this closet literally taking everything out and we're going to sort it into keep donate and toss These little collapsible laundry baskets are the best if you're in a small space because they just fold out Dylan and I just bought a house and we are moving into it really really soon So I thought going through all this stuff would be really helpful um, It's also a new year new year new me so i have a closet that's more like a double closet you just can't tell because of this singular door frame this is an old building so things were made differently back then but basically the closet is reach in so it has two sides going in this way so it probably starts here and ends about here so i have a lot of stuff in there more stuff than you guys probably I've actually wanted to organize the closet so badly. I've sought professional help before. I've worked with Anne from Atlas Interiors. She's really amazing. I'm gonna link her down below. But obviously since then, my lifestyle has changed. Let's get into it. Donate. Probably is gonna need these two bins. Toss, I'll throw in the corner. What I like to do is follow Marie Kondo's rule of just taking everything out and then going one by one with each piece and seeing if it sparks joy. Uh, I know it's a very typical way of getting rid of things, but if something sparks joy for me, if it makes me still feel inspired, if I love wearing it, if I feel good in it, I keep it. I'm not too concerned about how much I have to get rid of because I know I'll find a solution for every single thing. I just really want to only have things in my closet that I absolutely adore. I am not proud of this, but oh my goodness, this is insane. So this is empty now, I just need to take off this stuff, it's the last bit. I am not proud of this. See this, it looks so normal. And then you go up here? Oh, this is way too much stuff. We're so excited. I think these shorts are really fun, but I think they'll probably look better on someone else. I'm pretty ruthless when I give away things because I feel like if I don't feel good in it or if it's something that really doesn't spark anything within me, I don't really need it in my closet. I know we always get into this whole idea of what if I miss it or what if I regret giving this away, but it honestly just feels so much better to me to have that empty space. Another thrift pair I never really wore. This is like my favorite skirt ever. We are definitely keeping the cow pants. These are really cool. I feel like I'll still wear these. My giveaway pile is only almost full. I haven't gone through half of my pants. These I don't know, I'm not sure. I love anything with a split flare. This is like a one piece I have from Topshop. It's like a full on jumpsuit. I haven't worn this in a long time, but I think this will be so cute for like videos where we're doing the renos and stuff. I stepped out for like 10 minutes and just came back here and realized how freaking insane it looks. It doesn't even look that insane there. But we're gonna start putting things back now. Woo! This is such a beautiful sweater. I haven't worn it, but I just can't part with it. It's opening ceremony. Got this from Thread Up. I'm gonna dress nice every day, guys. That's a New Year's resolution. I realize this doesn't make sense what I'm doing. This is where I house all of my sweatpants in this part so actually i'm not gonna hang stuff i started but this is what we're gonna do first we're gonna fill this sweatpants loungewear place 
Um, it's a really stupid system because I can't I can't really reach in there unless I bring everything over there. So I'm excited to move where I'm gonna actually have an entire room as my closet. I know guys, it's very exciting. There's no point in changing it right now because obviously we're not staying here for like that long. So I'm just gonna throw everything back in there. God, this is so overwhelming. Got this beautiful Aritzia sweatsuit. It's like one of my favorite things. Three done sweatsuit again. This was a scent item. I love redone. I went through this phase where all I wanted was just matching sweatsuits only. This is a matching sweatsuit. And then I have summer sweatsuits and winter sweatsuits. This is definitely a summer or spring sweatsuit. This one's from Frankie Bikinis. This is definitely a winter sweatsuit. I think it's called Entire World. Anyone have a retail job back in high school or like college where they have to fold things all the time? Cause I did. Let me tell you guys everywhere I've worked. I don't think I've talked about this in a really long time. So my first job ever, like my first job where I got paid and everything, I was 17 and I worked at Hollister. Yeah, it was a very different time. It was like back when they had the shirtless models in the front. Um, yeah, obviously a very different time than now. I was really lucky because my Hollister was actually very diverse um, thanks to my manager there. Like, can you imagine working somewhere like that in high school where everyone's so beautiful? Yeah, I was lucky. My Hollister was very, very diverse. I'm actually really good friends with one person I worked with there and we actually worked together for three more jobs. So yeah, my first job was Hollister and we had to fold everything and everything had to be so perfect on the shelves. And I was doing this in like flip flops and skinny jeans. You guys know the deal, but it was a really, really fun job. After my next retail job after that was after first, first or second, maybe second year of university. So I was 19 and I, Worked at Brandy Melville. Yeah, there wasn't really a lot of folding there, so I didn't really have to organize much. Best summer ever. Such a fun summer. That was the summer Dylan and I started dating. Um, and then after that, I worked at Michael Kors, and that was my last retail job ever. And that was really, really fun too. I can't complain about it. I loved all the girls there. And it was at like the height of Michael Kors, so it was a while ago where, you know, everyone had a gold Michael Kors watch, the little Michael Kors bag. Well, I didn't have to do any folding there either because I was on cash. You guys want any story times? about places I've worked, let me know, because I have some. So we're just gonna put this stuff away. I've decided I'm gonna put solid sweatsuits up here and then tie-dye sweatsuits here. The bottom ones are actually gonna be for my purses, which I will go with you guys later. We pretty much have all our sweatpants down. I can't believe I've narrowed it down to this many, this little. Um, I do have some more solids that need to go with this stuff. So far we have just everything like semi-color coordinated. Doesn't really matter because we're going to be moving in a few weeks anyway. I want to show you guys up here before I really get going and fill this stuff up. So guys, if you're in a rental, this thing up here is so essential. Um, if you don't have lighting in your closet already, it's basically a motion sensor light and it really helps me see everything in here because as you guys can tell, it can get pretty dark. So when I'm actually looking through stuff, it turns on. I wish I got that on camera. And then um, these are just some fancy shoes and my off-white sneakers and stuff. Um, this is stuff that I really, especially this year, I mean, especially last year had not worn at all. And that stuff just stays over there so it can stay protected. And plus this is like an awkward reach in space anyway. And then these dividers are actually from the home edit. They have a whole line and it's actually sold a Canadian tire here. I got the idea from TikTok. So I have this all set up so you guys can see that. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys how to fold jeans. This is how I learned. Back when I worked at Hollister and I had to fold that whole jean wall, this is a long time ago, but I've folded my jeans like that ever since then. So you fold them here, the crotch facing you over your shoulder. You can either do it with triple fold or you can do quarter fold, which is like into fours, but I would like to do quarter. So you go, you flip it over one, two, three, and boom. And the last fold should hit the bottom of your pocket like this. So as you guys can see, the pocket will be showing like this and that way. It's just an easy way to distinguish which denim are what. I'm gonna put my light denim here. It's the denim I wear the most, as you guys can see. I think I'll actually be able to fit more of the triple fold, so we're gonna do triple instead of quarter. So this is me just putting away all of the jeans. It's actually really funny because I shared a sneak peek of this on my Instagram. And one of my really, really good friends that actually worked at Hollister with me said my folding literally looked like the Hollister denim rack and it like brought her back to those days. Uh, so I guess I still got it. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I finished all of my denim and it's looking really, really good. Um, the only thing I have left is the denim shorts and skirts, which for now are just gonna go into this bin. There's like a set of four I think you got on Amazon. These are really affordable, but this is summer stuff and I'm not gonna wear it right now. So I'd rather just keep it contained. And then I'm just gonna throw it on top of my fancy shoes for now because it's all gonna have to leave this closet in a few weeks anyway. Jeans are done. I just don't see myself wearing any of my more like formal bottoms right now till we move. So I'm just gonna stick them all in one of these gray bins again and then store it in my closet. So that way I know where they are in case I need to style things but they're not gonna take up as much room. So some of you may know, or if you've heard me like say this a hundred times in the video, uh, we're moving quite soon. So if you guys have any packs, my gosh, I can't talk. If you guys have any tips on packing, let me know because I this is the first time I've actually had to move everything in one day. I know it's not exactly ideal, but it's something we're going to probably have to do. So let me know your best tips. So guys, the closet is looking really, really amazing, but we're gonna go through my purses really quickly. I was actually able to take one of these gray bins and put all of the leftover hangers in here. These were all hangers from things that I decided to donate, so. But yeah, we're just gonna go through all this stuff and I'm gonna sort through purses I don't want anymore. Spoiler alert guys, I'm keeping all my designer bags. Who remembers when I made this? It's very cute, actually. I never wore this one. It's cute, but someone else can give it a nice home. Okay, so I put everything back that I obviously still want to keep and whatever and now we're gonna start bagging up the donation stuff i will save a few things for depop i know a lot of people are asking me about this stuff to be honest i just i i'm moving i don't have a ton of time there's going to be things i'm sorting for my sister and some other people i know that i think would maybe like stuff like this and then i'm gonna save certain things for depop like special things i'm gonna let you guys in on a secret because i'm not a depop seller it's like not really my thing um, I don't really make money doing this, especially when I bought the stuff and I'm just kind of like recouping my lost costs. Um, this one's gonna go on Depop. This is a Shadow Hill ho hoodie. I just don't wear it ever. I will definitely be putting this up on Depop because I actually forgot to last time. Tie dye Hooter sweater. Wanna hang out, Beats? Do you see him? Do you wanna hang out? Come here. Help me bag some stuff. This is something my brother's girlfriend I think will really like. I have this Ossington sweater, which I'm actually gonna put up on my Depop. I just don't wear it as much compared to my other, other sweaters. This Duke sweater can go up on my Depop. This is really cute. I thrifted this once. So this is what we are currently working with. I have two and a half bags full and this will probably fit all in here. So we just donated three bags of clothes today. And I'm gonna try to get these up on Depop for you guys when this video is up. So if you guys want to go follow my Depop, I'll have it linked in the description box below. We are finally done and it's four. So that took about three hours to get everything out. Ah, oh, look at it guys, it looks so much better from this angle. So I'm just gonna do a quick run through of everything and then we're gonna go right into the before and after shots. Okay, so besides the small pile here that we have for Depop, this closet is completely organized and ready for me to box up and everything when I'm ready to move. We got all of the sweaters and stuff color coordinated, which is really, really nice. Um, in here, I didn't really touch this stuff, but it's basically my workout gear, my graphic tees. Um, I also forgot to show this. I also have obviously my socks and underwear drawer. It feels like I purged like almost half my jeans, which is really, really nice. See how the closet goes all the way in, guys? Let me try to, oh, there you go, okay. See how the closet 
goes all the way in. That's like so impractical. So back there is like a lot of Dylan's like shirts and like suit stuff and more formal things that we like barely use. Um, oh my God, I wish you guys could really see this, but it is all of the sweatpants. Then here's the bin that has the purses in it. Louis Vuitton bag here. Then underneath here, we have all the other bags that are just gonna sit right there for now. Um, the way I sorted this, I did not sort this by Roy G. Biv. I really just sorted it by what I wear the most, which is a lot of creams and grays. And then it goes into darker colors here, which I do wear often. And then my more colorful stuff here. All right, guys, here is the final closet. I'm so happy I did this today, even though it took so freaking long. We are more than ready for the move, and that way I'm able to just pack things up and know that I love everything that I'm packing up. But if you guys like these type of videos and want to follow along, please subscribe, because I would love to have you. I'm gonna go, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.